world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. Now, I mainly use these to talk about things that are autism related, but since this is one of my favorite topics, I wanted to mention that I'm at DragonCon 2016, and I wanted to mention that this is the 30th anniversary, and what I wanted to do is share some of my memorabilia from DragonCon uh, 2006, which surprise, surprise, was the 20th anniversary. And what I wanted to do was uh, talk about a lot of the things that I remember from that first year. So I first heard about DragonCon in the year 2004 when I uh, joined an Asperger support group. And there was a guy that I had a huge crush on that uh, happened to go to this DragonCon and he talked about it all the time. So I was really, really excited to go in 2006 and I uh, finally got that chance. So first of all, uh, that year I did not stay in a hotel room. I ended up staying with a friend of my aunt's and she's or was involved in the writer's workshops because she is a writer and has published quite a few books. So I stayed with her. And then a second big one that you guys should know is that DragonCon was not always this large. There were not five different venues that DragonCon was being held at. During those days, uh, DragonCon was in the boundaries of uh, three different hotels. The Hyatt Regency Atlanta, the Marriott Marquises, and the Hilton Atlanta. And it was during those times that um, all of the excitement took place inside of the Hyatt Regency and I really remember that very well. So also during those days that you could pick up your badge or go through registration while going through line at the uh, Hyatt Regency but back then the pre-registration was much more complicated. You did not get these uh, little postcards and I heard that uh, you would end up waiting in line for almost four to six hours just to get your badge. So I didn't have that luckily. I mean, I was able to walk through and I've always been able to walk through. And a, another thing that I remember was on the opening night, just like tonight, I ended up uh, walking through the basement of the Hyatt Regency with my friend and there was a paper mache job of the hut which was super cool so that was a big one another one that I remember is that back then I was a, a die in the hard fan with Pirates of the Caribbean and I will admit I had a crush on Jack Sparrow and I had seen Pirates of the Caribbean uh, a dead man's chest and I was shipping Jack Sparrow and Elizabeth Swan I thought that William Turner was overrated and kind of cliche, so I really liked Jack. And on the uh, first day that I was there, uh, not the opening night, but was the day after, or the first Friday, I ran into a Jack Sparrow and I said, hey, I like your costume. And of course, I wasn't in costume and he decided to play like he was out of it and he goes, I like your costume as well. And he gave me a big hug and I said, and he goes, what is your costume? I'm not wearing one. And he goes, why aren't you wearing a costume? And I s was lost for words. And my friend answered for him, or for me, well, this is her first year. And then he got excited and said, we have a Dragon Con virgin, Dragon Con virgin, folks. And so that was really memorable. And then I went to the Tolkien track with my friend and it was not as crowded as it is now, but uh, the Marriott, too, was not very nice, and on my way into the uh, panel that I was supposed to watch at the Tolkien track, uh, somebody decided to have fun with Darth Vader, and what they did was uh, they wore a Darth Vader helmet, and they stuck a cigarette into the vent, and then uh, he was also wearing a Hawaiian shirt. and. That to me was memorable. And then during those days, uh, they had the Star Wars track inside of uh, the Marriott. And back then, the chairs faced the exit. But nowadays, most of the chairs face up the back of the room. 
because that's where all of the I don't know what you know I don't know what you call that pull that, that thing that you pull down I just I can't think of it right now but yeah again a lot has changed since 2006 and it has grown to be enormous and another thing that I learned was that I thought that this guy who I had a really really big crush on uh, it turned out that he was a huge die in the hard fan of of a Dungeons and Dragons, and a lot of the time he spent playing D&D, but he did spend playing, hanging out with me. However, most of the time I spent walking around Dragon Con by myself, and so I ended up introducing him to my friend when he was getting ready to play another round of D&D. Unfortunately, uh, she got a uh, wrong impression about him because she didn't really know anything about autism or Asperger's, and uh, she noticed that he didn't say goodnight to me. She noticed that uh, he didn't uh, seem to acknowledge me. So she took that as a hint that he didn't like me or wasn't interested. And she put all kinds of ideas in my head. And of course, that made me cry my heart out. And what, again, she didn't realize is that uh, he probably was not taught any social skills. But he was also super passionate about his Dungeons and Dragons, which again, I will be playing this year at some point during this weekend in honor of Dragon Con, which was started in honor of D&D. So until next time, I'm Maya Sendermeyer. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please be sure to check out my uh, written blogs on wordpress.com. And you can also find me on Facebook under Hello World with Maya Sendermeyer as well as uh, going to Twitter and finding me under uh, summergirl43. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.